Hello, today we're going to make the panettone loaf. I hope you enjoy. So we're making the panettone in the Panasonic bread maker. The first thing we need to do is put the paddle in the bread pan. Okay. Don't forget to put the paddle in because otherwise it's difficult to get it in when you've got the ingredients in. Got 14 oz of strong white flour. Now, I've been using Carr's strong white flour. Put that into the bread pan. Flour's back. The next thing I need is 50 grams of butter. So I'm going to cut this into pieces. It's 50 grams of butter. The sugar is four and a half tablespoons. Now I use the little pink measure. Just one. Two, three, four, and there is a mark on the spoon for half a spoon. Which is there. But you can it's not very clear. I'd like to have seen a better marking on the spoon myself. So that's four and a half sugar. Salt, we need one teaspoon. The teaspoon is at the other end of the spoon. One teaspoon of salt going in. to beat the eggs. Which I'm going to put onto the scales. So I'm going to put um, whisk up two eggs. a new whisk today from Lakeland so I've got to try it out. Whoa. That's nice and easy. It's, Look at that. It's quiet because it's got it's silicon. It's what? Yeah. It's got silicon on the silicon. metal isn't it? It does. You don't have to scratch it down do you? We need to make that um, weight up to 300 grams with milk. So we've got semi skimmed. So I'm just going to whisk that up a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is tip that into the bread pan with the other ingredients. So 
I'll just drop that in the bread maker. And turn it slightly, twist it slightly, so it's fixed in position. There's the lid. The next thing we're going to do is put the yeast into the bread machine. Now on this machine, it's got a special compartment. We need to lift the lid and on the right hand side there's a circle compartment. We need one and a half teaspoons of yeast. Yet again, the marking on the spoon is not very clear, but there is one on there. So that's one and a half of yeast. So that's it for now. Put the lid down and we set the clock. To the menu to number 14. So the menu we're going to set to number 14 for the panettone. It's number 14. And that set itself to 3 hours 30 minutes. So we don't need to do anything, we just press the start button. Well that's um, set, gone to rest for a medium loaf. So when the buzzer goes off we need to put the fruit in so, and some more butter, but we don't do anything now until the buzzer goes off from the machine. That's kneading nicely. So when the buzzer goes off, we put the fruit and the butter in. We're showing we've got four minutes left. The buzz has gone off and we need to put the rest of the ingredients into the bread pan. There's two hands showing flashing up like this on the screen and that means it's ready to put the fruit in. So I lift up the lid In. We've got um, 70 grams of butter this time. And it needs to be cut into small portions, which I'm going to cut. It does say keep it in the fridge until you put it in. The next thing we're going to put in is 50 grams of candied orange peel. Followed by 50 grams of sultanas. where we have a little bit of variation. The recipe asks for currants. Robert's not keen of currants so we, we're using uh, cherries instead. So we've got 50 grams of cherries going into the bread pan.
And that's it. Put the lid down and start again. The setting um, on the clock now it's got it's for a medium loaf and it's going to rise. The time that's showing is two hours thirty. So we'll leave that to uh, rise and cook. The bread machine's kneading all the fruit and the rest of the butter now. Bread's baking nicely. The buzzer's gone, so that means uh, the loaf is cooked, so we're just going to take it out. Right, we're just going to take this out, so I need to turn the bucket slightly on lift. Lift down. Back out the way. Switch the top. Now to take the, the loaf out, pull the handle down and then just tip it upside down and it comes out nice and easy the paddle's still in the bottom can you see that? the hole, oh, holes in the bottom where the paddle's been you always get that there we go. Look at that. Very nice. Smells lovely. Can't wait to try it. That looks good. We're just going to leave the loaf on the uh, cooling rack now to cool. Let's see what it's like then. Cut into the panettone. Mm, that looks nice. Let's have another slice or two. Mm -hmm. I'm not very straight. No, I'm not very good at cutting straight, sorry. It's not my... Um... <laughs> you usually do the carving. Looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Mm. Looks nice. And you can have some apricots, orange, or grapes with it. And you can eat this, especially at Christmas. Panettone always comes out at Christmas. Also have it as continental breakfast. Okay, so we're going to try it now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try it. Looks very nice. I think I'll have a little bit of orange and a grape. It's orange. Nice and juicy. I prefer this to ordinary bread. I'm not a plain bread fan, as you may have gathered. I'm making everything but plain bread. <laughs> Is it good? So what are you having it with? Some fruit? I've got some orange. Some grapes. Some grapes. Some orange. Some grapes. 
And some black grapes. Mm. Very good. Very nice. Do you have a cup of tea with it, eh? Cup of tea with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. English tea? Very nice. Good. I could have that instead of... Um, Ordinary white bread. It's got fruit in it. Can't see the cherries though. No. I think they must be a bit further in. <laughs> yeah. They're there somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Okay, thanks. And? What's that? St. Patrick's Day today. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. My contribution. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I used to work with an Irish girl. And when she left the company to go back to Ireland, yeah. she gave me these. Oh, she used to have them on her desk. And I've treasured them ever since. So oh. if she's watching, thank you. Okay. Okay.